Good morning everybody, Rob Lee here. I wanted to cover a few quick upgrades that you should probably consider if you're a user of the DJI FPV RC2 or the DJI Goggles 2. So looking at the controller, just a little bit of background. I come from a TBS Tango 2 Crossfire background. That's how I learned to fly FPV. So for comparison purposes, I'll be looking at the differences kind of between that platform and the DJI RC2. So when DJI uh, released it now, the FPV RC2 is going to be compatible with CADEX and O3. That intrigued me because that allows me to carry one less remote in my bag for the equipment that I usually utilize. Some other things that I did want to mention is I was not happy with the resolution uh, with the stick feel on the RC2. So the sticks that actually come factory, these little guys right here in my left hand, they're about 19 millimeters. Amazon sells some extended uh, adjustable stick ends that you see on this one here with these gold tips. I'll include a link down below. This gets it to about 28 millimeters. However, I really didn't like the feel of this, but the good news is that if you unscrew this gold tip here, this essentially will turn your FPV RC2 into a M4 thread. So the beauty of that is then you can use the TBS, not the TBS, I'm sorry, the Radio Master Sticky 360 ends. So this extends it to about 31 millimeters, which gives you a lot more throw. It gives you a whole lot more resolution. Uh, it made it where this is actually enjoyable to fly. It took me about a week and a half to get adapted to it, but now I'm actually preferring this controller. So again, there's less options in here. I don't use any of the any of the onboard stuff with the Tango 2 uh, as far as my expo and my curves and everything. I do that all within Betaflight, so that's not a selling point. For me, I do like that now I'm able to carry just one controller for my FPV aircraft. Uh, now also that DJI has released the latest update that resolved the blackout issue when you lose video feed, uh, I have no reason to go back to the crossfire. This here is just a black silicone skin that you, you can get on eBay. I'll include a link to that below as well. The foam that's included from DJI is extremely uncomfortable and also has substantial light leak. $10 will get you upgraded foam padding that drastically reduces this. It's also much more comfortable. Uh, for me, I have an astigmatism, so even when I have the diopter and the pupillary distance adjusted, I still have blur along the edges of the screen. So for me, I have the Hans VR prescription inserts. These are about 50 bucks, get them shipped to your door. They just pop in over the existing goggles right here. Uh, just a quick note, if you do use these with the upgraded foam, you're gonna have to go through with some scissors or an X-Acto and actually cut out the foam a little bit to make these fit. All right, next moving along to the strap here. This is Fat Straps product. It's made in the USA, extremely comfortable. What I really appreciate is right here, there is a little pocket where you can put your battery pack. You can also jump on Amazon, get you a shorty power adapter. Plugs in just like OEM. And you can plug it in here. That way you're not running the really long Curly Q battery strap. So definitely worth the upgrade. It's about 20 bucks for this strap. So in conclusion, both of these are excellent products. However, with a few relatively inexpensive upgrades, it can really greatly enhance the end user experience. Me, for instance, I wouldn't be willing to make the transition from the TBS Crossfire Tango 2 setup to the RC2 had it not been for the stick modifications. It really made a significant difference on the overall handling and the overall feel of this controller. So as always, Thank you for your support. If this was helpful, please like, please subscribe. Y'all have a good day.